What's up guys? Today is a big day. This is the first time a big YouTuber live streamer has tried to cross promote me a little bit. You know, even with a little tweet like this, it makes a heck of a difference, man. And this is Chinglish. If you are not familiar with him, he is mostly known for World of Warcraft gameplay and stuff like that. Uh, he live streams a lot and you guys need to check him out if you have not He usually live streams uh, early morning hours for the US because I believe he's Australian uh, If I remember right I if you're watching this Chinglish basically I Seen your live stream in the past and I, uh, I didn't really check it out too much But then you started going over Swifty's house and I was like, oh, let's check this guy out And I watched a bunch of your stuff after that and I started tuning into live streams and stuff So cross promotion works man uh, Thank you so much for the tweet and big fan. I hope you see this and I appreciate it Already started, but it doesn't look very far in just now starting to cap points Everybody pretty much ran to the sides and into the middle now So that's probably what I'm going to be entering into is a battle in the middle I'm having a little bit of lag in the game, so I apologize if it's very laggy in the video guys This is not usually a warfront that I want to run a night blade spec on but that's what we're doing we're we're hoping that we're going to be able to overcome the odds and start blowing some people up uh normally you would want to run marksman for this but let's see what we can do let's see if we can snipe a healer here blowing them oh where do you go nope you're not getting away from me i've done blowing my cooldowns yep all right so we just made a huge difference in this fight hopefully anyway uh, taking out a healer in the early part of the exchange here is a big deal normally. Alright, so these guys, they have capped the middle there and they are doing a good job of defending it. Alright, we gotta, we gotta take out the healers. The, the most important thing with the exchange like this is to take out the healers. They are the ones that's keeping that team up and able to uh, break us down, so. Uh, I thought he was a healer at first because of one of the buffs that I seen. But once I seen him cast some fireball, I knew different. As long as I correct my mistake, that's the that's the big deal. If you label somebody wrong, and you know you labeled them wrong, correct the problem. Man, these Harbingers. The Harbinger is extremely strong right now with small scale PvP. They are, man, just amazing. Ah, they're stripping my buffs. I still got him. Still got him. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. No. Oh, gosh. Look at this Harbinger. See, this is how strong Harbinger is. Look, he's just running right in the middle of our team. No care in the world. Look at that. And is able just to run right back out. Normally, people that do that are going to get blown up. Because the time to kill people right now is very short. That's one of the things that is wrong with PvP right now is, uh, you know, you always had the burst classes like uh, Shaman, Paragon, um, Pyromancer, all that stuff. And Pyromancer was really good because you could do the same burst that these melee classes were doing, but you could do it at range, you know. So, but now with range being so strong and then they're buffing up Pyromancer yet again, you know, they, it, it's, it's becoming really bad. Uh, you're getting too much burst going on and, uh, like Inquisitor already had decent burst and now it's got, you know, it just got buffed up again. And then, uh, gosh, this guy is, man, I gotta take out this healer. 
Gotta take out this healer. Oh, this healer is big on running. Which is good. A uh, healer wants to have movement on the... I'm taking too much damage, man. Alright, got the healer out. Now we can take out these guys. Now I'm getting very good heals. But yeah, uh, just too many classes have burst now. You know, marksmen used to be like consistently good damage. But now it's like super strong damage. And man, it's just too much damage going on. And they, they lighten up on the healing, but it ain't enough, really, because you're still getting... If you're not able to burst people down, they're still able to get healed up with Purifier and stuff. And Warden and all that. And... I think PvP is in a very bad spot right now. A very bad spot. Uh, I'm hoping it turns around. Tron tends to... Uh, voice that they just want what's best for us uh even though it seems like at times that they don't think that way but they do they they want what's best for us uh the perception can be wrong because things take so long in order to uh change but it, right now it's really frustrating because range classes have been oh oh oh, oh no 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 don't oh phew. I was able to take out the healer. No, don't kill me. Come on. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, you're chasing me. <laughs> Got you. Chase me. I kill you. <laughs> but uh, range classes have been so strong since Nightmare Tide. And that was over a year ago. So, and it hasn't changed. If anything, they buffed them up even more. And it's ridiculous, man. get you labeled here all right so yeah we 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 definitely we definitely need to uh, hope that our word is getting across to try to try to fix this stuff and then with all the other stuff going on like uh, you know raid weapons are still the best weapons in the game because the DPS still is not fixed even after all this time raid weapons are not being bolstered down on their DPS man we're just slaughtering these guys now but thing is they're capping flags that they might win it on us don't win it on us But if they take over middle, they're gonna have they're gonna be able to cap over everything. I mean that's how we should be doing. I don't know why we don't have the flags. I mean me being a burst class, I, I kind of need to be taking these guys out, and some of our other guys need to be capping right now. But uh, uh, this guy's gonna just freaking chase me everywhere. Look at him. He's not doing, like, amazing damage, but, you know, in one-on-one -on -one situation, he, he would probably win every time because that's just how Harbinger is right now. Uh, Harbinger has always been a good dueling spec, but it's it's outrageous now for dueling. Their uh, shield is amazing. Don't ever fight a Harbinger outside of a Warfront or CQ because... Uh, their um, their shielding is not nerfed in open world, so it's even more ridiculous. You are just going to get smashed. Any kind of dueling tournament done right now would be won by a harbinger, hands down. Probably a harbinger uh, arbiter. Ah, they're not going to let me cap. Okay, let's see if we can make a difference here. We're going to go and try to cap a flag. Because they got more flags than us right now. If we, if we don't get this one, or at least one, or you know, one more anyway, we're going to lose, no matter what. The points are too close. So let's see if we can win the match here if we get this flag. Oh, resistance is coming. All right, let's make sure that we can line of sight this guy. Let's try to draw his attack. Oh, oh strafe. Line of sighted. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> uh, 
Oh no. No, 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 no. More guys are coming, no. No, you are not capping that. Oh, we're getting the win because I capped that flag. Yes. Oh, nice, man. Such a good war front. Holy smoke, that was awesome. 12 and 0, lead kills, you know, million and a half damage or so. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. Let's get our sparkles and let's see if we get some gear. Oh, in essence. Ah, uh, endurance heavy. Dang it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.